Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD2 HTML and CSS Series 1 Lesson 6 and in this video I want to walk you through the main content HTML. Alright then guys, so this is where we left off last time. We did the lead banner and we said we're going to move on to this main content with the three sections in right here. And that's these three sections, one, two, three. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. So the first section we need is at the top. And although you can see there's titles at the start of section two and a title at the start of section three, there's not one at the start of section one, right? But again, the HTML5 section tag kind of expects a heading. A H tag, right? And it's also good for screen readers because then it kind of presents it in a logical uh, manner for those. So what I'm going to do is give this a H2, but uh, I'm going to hide the one in the first section because it's not there on the design, okay? So this is purely for the benefit of HTML5 markup and screen readers. So let's do that H2 tag then, H2, and then I'm just going to call this uh, points of sale doesn't really matter what you call it at the minute. I mean, obviously, if you're doing this for a real client, then you're going to want to do something that's logical for this part right here. All right, then we've got three elements here. And when we get three elements like this stacked side by side, it's quite common in modern websites. I like to use a UL and LI tags to represent those because it's kind of like a sideways list, isn't it? All right, so let's give that a UL. And we will give then three li tags oops in fact i'll just do one then we'll copy and paste and within each li we've got an image at the top then a title then a bit of blurb right there so let's do that image first of all image source equals and then it's in our images folder forward slash and it's these things right here cs1 2 and 3 so i'm going to choose cs1 um, we'll give it an alt of web design because that's what's said right here and close that off next thing we need is the title so I'm gonna say h3 for this because it's kind of like a subheading of this and we'll say web design and finally we just need some lorem ipsum text to go right here which is what that is so let's grab this copy it and paste it in here Cool, all right, so that's one li tag done. I'm just gonna copy this now for simplicity and paste them in a couple of times. And then we'll just go back and change these to CS2 and CS3. And we'll change the alt tags. The second one is e-commerce. And we need to change the title to e-commerce. Then SEO. and SEO in the title, awesome. All right then, so that's the three images or the three list items right there. Uh, what I am gonna do is just give this section an ID so that we can grab these UL tags or LI tags rather. And we'll call it points hyphen of sale. Same as what this H2 is. All right, on to the next section. So we'll give this section an ID too and we'll say clients because it's what our clients say within the section we need that h2 which is what our clients say and then under here oops got this pipe in there for some reason under here we need a an image tag for this and we need a block quote tag for this because it's a quotation we can tell that from that little image right there all right so let's do the image first of all image source equals images and then it is the which one is it quote right there cool give it an alt of quote and then next to that we need this block quote tag and we typically use block quotes for quotes things like client testimonials things like that so again i'm just going to copy and paste this get in there select all that and then paste it between here and all the kind of aesthetic things the design we're going to sort out in the CSS later for example this thing here we'll use a background image property and padding top to sort that out all right last section that is for the droppers align I'm just going to say ID equals contact for this 
because it's got a map and it's got all the contact details right here so that should be fine um, so firstly we need uh, sorry firstly we need a list for this and then we need an image for that and then we've got a list of all the social icons at the bottom so let's do a ul first of all and then we need an li tag and each one of these has got a little icon on the left which we're going to use padding for so we don't need to put that image in here we're going to do that in the css so the first one is the phone number i can't read that so i'm just going to do all the fives five 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 uh, five 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 whatever uh, second one is the email address which is hello at whatever.com and third is the address I think can't really read it but I'll say leaf studios I think that's what it says uh, then in fact it goes on to a few different lines so I'm gonna do this how will I do this I'm gonna use span tags and each span is going to display as block, so it's got its own line. Okay, so let's jump over to the next line. We'll do that again. Span. And the next line is Times Square, I think. Close that off. One more. Oops. And it is New York. Awesome. Okay, so that's that list done. Now we need this image. So we'll come back below our UL tag and we'll bring in an image tag with a source of images forward slash map and then an alt attribute of map also. So that's the image. And then finally, guys, we need this little list right here. So I'm going to do a UL again. And we're going to give these IDs. We'll say UL ID equals contact methods, just so we can grab them separately in the CSS. And this ID will be social hyphen nav. All right, so the first LI, I'm just going to give a class of, what is it? It's the Facebook. So I'll give that a class of Facebook. And then I'm going to write in here an A tag it's going to go to the Facebook link for this company and I'm going to write Facebook and again this is for screen readers although there's no text right here we're going to replace this with an image in the CSS giving it a background image I'm doing this for screen readers because if they view the page they're not going to see these images but they will see this text and so they can jump over to those links that way we'll hide this in the CSS so let me copy that and paste it a few times so what have we got next we've got uh, Twitter so we'll change the class to Twitter and the text to Twitter then we've got is that Pinterest yep yeah. and the text as well we'll change that and finally we've got LinkedIn And we'll change the text also. Now, I think we've missed out this H2 up here. So I'm just going to pop that back in. Um, H2, and it says drop us a line. And then finally, what I want to do is one more thing. All of these sections we've just done here, these three sections, they need to be contained within that wrapper div to keep them in this central column, right? So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to make a div with a class of wrapper. And to be frank, guys, I should have done this before, but I just forgot. So it's going in now. And we'll paste that down there. And we're just going to scoot in these three sections using the tab key once they're all highlighted. And that should be that. Okay, then, guys. So that is this lesson sorted. We've done all the structural HTML now. Uh, what we're going to do in the next lesson is dive into the CSS and start styling this baby up. If you have any questions so far about this content, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll answer any questions. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in the next video.